this video, I am going to explain the problem using Simpson's one third as well as three by eighth rule. And this topic is from numerical differentiation and integration. Dividing the range into ten equal parts, find the approximate value of integral zero to pi sin x dx. So here our x values are zero. This is zero by ten, pi by ten, two by ten till ten by ten, ten pi by ten. So all these values. So what is pi here? Pi is nothing but one eighty. One eighty by ten is equal to eighteen, and two into this pi by ten, two into eighteen thirty six, two into eighteen fifty four like that. So we have to frame the values as here y is equal to sine x. See here all the values. Sine zero is already zero, and here if you see this is sine eighteen degrees. So how much it is? Zero point. This is three zero nine zero one, nine zero one. And next one is sine thirty six degrees. So sine thirty six degrees is nothing but zero point five eight double seven eight. Zero point. This is five eight double seven eight. The next one is sine fifty four degrees. The value here is zero point eight zero nine zero one. Zero point. This is eight zero. This is nine zero one. And the next one is sine seventy two degrees. The value here is zero point. This is nine five one zero one zero five. Next sine ninety. As you know, that's value is one. And next one is sine one not eight degrees. The value here is zero point. This is nine five one zero five six. And the next one is sine one twenty six degrees. This is zero point. This is eight zero nine zero one, and the next one is sine one forty four degrees. This value is zero point five eight double seven eight. The next one is zero point sine one sixty two degrees. That is zero point. This is three zero nine zero one, and this is sine one eighty. This value is zero. So. After getting all these values, so we have to name them. So this value is y not. This is y one, y two, y three, y four, y five, y six, y seven. This is y eight, y nine, as well as y ten. So now we have to use the Simpson's one third as well as three by eighth rule. So according to the Simpson's one third rule, we have a formula. According to the Simpson's one third rule. So we have a formula for integral zero to pi. So this is integral zero to pi sine x dx is nothing but this is h by three times of the first one and the last one. That is y naught plus y ten plus this one is nothing but four times of the odd multiples. That is y one, y three, y five, y seven, and y nine. So this one is y one, y three. Y five, Y seven plus Y nine plus two times of the even multiples. That is Y two. This is Y four, Y six, Y eight. See here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. So total we have eleven values. Here our H value is nothing but. So H is nothing but this is pi by ten. So if I substitute the same thing here, this is. Pi by ten divided by three. Why not plus y one? So what is our why not here? This is zero, and y ten value is also zero. Plus this is four times of y one. What is y one here? This is zero point three zero nine zero one. Y three value is nothing but zero point eight zero nine zero one. Y five value is one, and Y seven value is zero point eight zero nine zero one, and Y nine value is zero point three zero nine zero one. Plus this is two times of Y two. What is Y two here? This is zero point. This is five eight double seven eight. Plus Y four. The value is zero point nine five. One zero five plus y six. The value here is zero point nine five one zero five six, and uh, y eight. That is zero point five eight double seven eight. See here. Now we need this value. That is pi by thirty times of. This is four into. See here. Let's do this. That is zero point 
थ्री जीरो नाइन जीरो नाइन जीरो वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट दिस इज एट जीरो नाइन जीरो वन प्लस वन प्लस दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो नाइन जीरो वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो नाइन जीरो वन द वैल्यू हियर इज फोर पॉइंट टू थ्री सी हियर फोर पॉइंट टू थ्री सिक्स जीरो फोर प्लस दिस इज टू टाइम्स ऑफ सी हियर दिस इज टू टाइम्स ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एट डबल सेवन एट प्लस दिस वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव वन जीरो फाइव प्लस दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट अगेन नाइन फाइव वन जीरो फाइव सिक्स सो वी हैव सेम वैल्यूज हियर सो बाई फोर एंड बाई सिक्स सेम वैल्यूज हाँ नेक्स्ट प्लस This is zero point. This is five eight double seven eight. This value is nothing but three point zero. This is double seven triple six. See here, this value is equal to this is four into four point two three six zero four plus. This is this value is two into so this is two into three point zero double seven. Triple six, triple six. The value here is twenty three point. This is twenty three point zero double nine four nine two pi by thirty. So we have a pi value as three point one four one four something. See here divided by thirty. The value here is two point four. So this value is nothing but two point four one double seven four. So according to the Simpson's one third rule, so we got the value of integral zero to pi sine x dx value is nothing but two point four one according to the Simpson's one third rule. So coming to the Simpson's three by eight rule, so again we have a formula that according to the Simpson's three by eight rule. According to the Simpson's three by eight rule, so integral zero to pi, this is sine x dx is nothing but three h by eight. First we have to add the first value and the last value, and the next one is one into two into two times of all the multiples of. See here, so we have to go with all the multiples of uh, this one. Two into multiples of three, that is y three. This is y three, y six and y nine plus three times of the rest. Y not is used, and you will have to go with y one, y two, y three is already here. So next y four, y five, y six is occupied here. Y seven, and this is y eight. Y nine is already there, and y ten is already there. So we have to use this formula. So again, we have h is equal to h value is nothing but pi by ten according to The table here. So the table of values are are known here. So this will be what is pi h h is equal to pi by ten into eight. So first value plus the last value. See here. So this is y not and this is y ten. So zero plus zero. So this value is zero plus zero plus two times of y three. What is this y three? Zero point. This is eight zero nine zero one. Y six value is. Zero point nine five one zero five six and y nine value is zero point three zero nine zero one plus this value is three times of see here this is three times of what is y one value zero point three zero nine zero one y two this is zero point five eight double seven eight and y four y four value is zero point nine five one zero five and Y five value this is one and Y seven value this is zero point eight zero nine zero one and after that Y eight value that is zero point five eight double seven eight see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so all the values are ready here now I have to calculate so this will be see here this is three pi by eighty. Two times of. See, I'll show you. This value will be. This is zero point eight zero nine zero one plus zero point nine five one zero five six plus zero point three zero nine zero one. The value here is. This is two point 
zero six nine zero seven six plus three times of see here the value that is zero point three zero nine zero one plus this is zero point five eight double seven eight plus zero point nine five one zero five plus one plus zero point eight zero nine zero one nine zero one plus this is zero point five eight double seven eight the value here is four point two double four six three now i need this value that is this is two into this is two point zero six nine zero seven six plus this is three into this is four point two double four six three the value here is a sixteen point eight seven two zero four two eight seven four two into this is three pi by eighty as you know that pi value is pi value is three point one four into three divided by eighty the value here is one point nine eight six see here we got the value as one point nine eight double six eight two so for integral zero to pi this is a sin x dx value according to 3 by 8th rule so we got this value so this is how we have to solve and this is according to the one third rule and this is according to the 3 by 8th rule so all the values are ready here in the table so please go through this and this is also very easy but most important and please have a look at those please practice definitely you can solve by your own and i'll be uploading many more videos and please watch them please go through the playlist and definitely it will be very helpful and if you really like you know what to do please take time to raise your thumb share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel